Good evening, everyone. I'm Kona Lakshmi, minimal access and bariatric surgeon, Global Hospital Hyderabad. Today, let us uh, talk on what is the link between obesity and diabetes, and how do we manage both these diseases individually or together, happening in an individual. First, when you start gaining weight, your body undergoes a lot of metabolic change. And uh, there's a lot of inflammatory factors which are released by the accumulated fat, which causes a lot of insulin resistance. And that leads to a cluster of symptoms, what is called the metabolic syndrome. And the most prominent of them is type 2 diabetes, along with high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and fatty liver is called metabolic syndrome. And it is seen that almost around 80% of the people who have excess body weight, we are not even talking of obesity, we are talking of excess body weight, have some form or some of the uh, features of metabolic syndrome. So you see people who are maybe 5 to 10 kgs above their ideal body weight, as their age increases a little, they start becoming hypertensive or their cholesterol levels go up. Some of them have cardiac issues at a very young age. And then we are surprised that uh, why it is happening to young people. It's not that why it's happening to young people. For anyone uh, who is gaining weight, the fat causes this havoc and then it causes all these metabolic problems. And those in turn will cause their own set of complications. And diabetes, as you all know, is a very nasty disease to have it. And then it doesn't spare a single organ from your head to your foot. We can say diabetes damages each and every organ and more so critical organs like your eyes, your heart, your kidneys, and then your limbs, lot of um, Obese people with uncontrolled diabetes end up losing their toes, their lower legs, and sometimes their uh, palm and hand. That's because of the high sugar circulating in the body and little infection and the organ go, undergoes damage. Then you are running after getting your eyes corrected or your kidneys are damaged and you are needing renal transplant. So why go till that far? Then we can control or get rid of the disease at a early at its early stage so if a person is gaining weight and slowly developing these problems the first important thing is lose weight put on uh, put on a healthy diet and start a very active lifestyle including exercise daily in your um, uh, routine but some people would have gained so much weight that now even if they exercise, even if they're starting to eat a healthy diet, maybe they will not be able to reduce much of their weight and then much of the metabolic syndrome also. So for those people, bariatric surgery or metabolic surgery, when it's done for obese people with this metabolic syndrome, we call it metabolic surgery, that brings about a significant positive change for that obese individual who is suffering from the metabolic syndrome. Mainly we see when a person is a diabetic and also obese and then we all do the metabolic surgery on them, we see a drastic change in their sugars from the next day onwards. Their sugars come under control, their sugars are not fluctuating very much which we generally see if a diabetic is undergoing a surgery then in the post-op period the sugars fluctuate a lot but when an obese diabetic is undergoing a metabolic surgery there is not much fluctuation in the sugars actually the need for sugar medication we see coming down gradually so that is the significant change why we would suggest an obese person with a diabetic specifically if someone is young and then progressing on the diabetes and unable to lose the weight because if we don't bother about this person or this person is not bothered about controlling his obesity and diabetes and is young so they have a li longer lifespan so what happens is this person in his later part 
or in his middle age or old age he will be suffering from lot of organ damage which will make his quality of life miserable along with that when organ damage sets in your exercise tolerance automatically comes down and this would make him very difficult to for him to lose weight so he will be obese he will be suffering from organ damage running around hospital so many medications so your total quality of life goes away so when you are young or in middle age or even if you are past your middle age but you are obese and your diabetes is not coming under control opt for bariatric surgery or metabolic surgery and get your weight and diabetes under control it gives a significant change in the quality of your life it prevents nasty complications of diabetes from progressing and prevents you from losing your eyesight damaging your kidneys losing your uh, limbs and not only that your quality of life improves as we age we should not as far as possible be dependent on, on anyone for our own work so if you become obese and then you develop this problem ultimately you are forced to become dependent on someone for your day to day activities so better to lose weight even if you are 50 or 60 or 70 years but you are obese and your sugars are going bad my suggestion would be opt for the surgery lose your weight and lead a healthy good quality life with your sugars well under control in our experience we have seen that once the surgery is done most of the patients 70 to 80% of the patients go off their medicines few of them whose diabetes has been neglected for a long time may need may need lesser medication so that is better than taking maybe 100 120 or 200 units of insulin and so many medications for your sugar rather than lose weight and then you may need single pill or half a pill for control of sugar that is so much difference from that to this and also their quality of life improves they are able to do their physical activity better so that gives them a holistic sense of uh, recovery and uh, prevents them from developing any major complications because of the progressive diabetes there are lots of myths regarding any medical treatment but my best advice is because we are personally treating these patients so many of our own family members friends relatives colleagues the family members have undergone these procedures and they are doing very well and all the myths regarding surgery being dangerous and then you will not lead a good quality of life is absolutely wrong so never go by the myths and always opt for a scientific way of treating your uh, diseases specifically when it is obesity and the linked diabetes or other metabolic syndrome thank you